Shomer Shalom, everybody. Today I want to teach a, an extension on what we went over the last time on Nakad, which was naked, on extinction and what it means when the Creator decided to disintegrate and go extinct. There's this portion of us that is me, and this portion that is me uh, is, a, is a very hidden thing. Uh, when we speak of what the Creator was, and when we, you've heard a lot of people in the English language use uh, the great I am, uh, that, that which I am is great, which is the, what they refer to uh, when they speak about the Creator, the great I am. And, and in Hebrew, it, there's not really a word to say that the word am, to, to be. It's, it's I exist, meaning that look at me, I exist. There is a me, okay? And this me is the word slay. And slay is uh, used from the shin, lamed, and uh, the yod. And what that means is there's two portions of a staff that goes to one hand. So that means there's two halves to, to this whole thing that grabs a hold of the staff, that which is going to exist. So right now I'm facing to the side. You can see one half of me. And no matter what you look at and observe in this world, there's always two half. And I said that about the extinction that when you, you go so far and you checked everywhere and you realize that the Creator says, I'm alone. He can't just say, I exist. He can't say, I am. There's nothing to prove and give aid, which is the information, the data that says, hey, I exist. The only thing that can reproof that he exists is for him to go in and figure out this other half. And that's where the word for I am is uh, it's a little bit different when it goes into it, when it comes to I exist. It's Ani Kayam. And Ani Kayam is, is the same thing, Ani being I, and then Kayam, which is the, the Kwaf, or the Kuf, and you have Yud Yud, and then you have Mem, the waters in final form. And that means that at half horizon, even at half horizon, you have both hands present, and they are on the word or the waters, and the waters, they have hold of only half of the waters. So you can only have half of the rise, and you can only have, no matter if you hold all of the waters of existence, you can only have, if I hold all the light, I have only half, because behind me there's a shadow where I cannot go and reach, where the point where I become naked, to be able to yell out to the world, hey, I exist because somebody else told me I am. And so he created us so that he could have the born right. That right where he searched all the way into Nakad to the end of extinction and looked inwards to try to find a way to say, do I exist or do I not exist? And that is the word for Kayam. It is those hands. No matter if you have lords and lord. You, hey, lords, my left and my right hand. He still needs two observation points to say, hey, on one staff, the, the shlai, as spoken, is to have me. So to be me, you have to have two hands on the staff, which is, who's the staff? The gray eye, ani. You have to have two hands on ani to hold the waters so that he can actually say, I exist, to say, and yell out to the world, say, Ani Kayam, instead of him saying, Ani Shalai, meaning, I am me. You know, he has the backing. So when people wonder, the, did the left from the right and from the east to the west, he needed those two points of perspective to be in between, to be what is that monkey in the middle, because you don't know. You need a left and a right. You need two people to see where you cannot see. So to know I exist, I'm looking this way, I need to be able to look all the way around me. And if I'm looking all the way around me, I need to be able to look in me. Either way, no matter where you are, you need two hands to tell time, to tell you that you're existing. And time tells us that we exist. So 
when it comes to the Creator becoming naked, at what point do I become naked? Is when I lay down everything I am, and I need my peers. I need something else other than me. The Creator needed to not be alone. He needed something else to say that I am a me. There's a me. Look, there, there's something else other than I. There's, there's a me. There's something inside of me. There's something inside of you because you have told me there is. There's something to value my whole. And that is what is meant by extinction is that you need to go find that. The creator had to go find that. And he touched everything. And then he went in and looked inside. So he created which is the inner and the outer, which is the flesh, which is one hand, and the second hand, which is the inner, which is the me. And one could tell the other what it is feeling because the one on the outside is waiting to be observed, and the one on the inside is the one that is truly able to observe the outside. Shomer Shalom, everybody.